New Noob, I heard you're like the world's biggest fan of Burt Kreischer and Tom Segura. I want to have two bears rub their honey all over me. Oh my god. Uh. Oh my gosh, that's right. We're going to check out the latest video from some maniac named Crack, Crack Amico. And he wrote a, f a track that just rips Tom Segura and Burt Kreischer into tiny little pieces. I have not seen a diss track this hard. Uh, and it's a great song. But holy macaroni, we're going to fact check it for you and see if all of his facts add up. What do you think, Noob Noob? Sure. I like facts. I like facts. I like the song more, though. You like the song more than anything else? Even if it's fake, who cares? What do you mean if it's fake? I'm just saying if it was, it's not. But It's if not it was. fake. It's real. It's about two bears in one grave. Yes. That's right. We're going to let it rip. Uh, I'm going to link right up here, Crack Amico, in this, this video, because he deserves all the credit in the world uh, for writing this song. I'm going to skip around a little bit, because some of it's a little too... Uh, Dicey. Little dicey. Big money. This is it. Many stat motherfuckers ain't funny. They ain't giving nothing. All they do is take money. And it's so gay to get paid. That's why I'm putting two bears in one grave. Then you can oh never boy. dig them up. I ain't too crack in the You can never dig them up. Oh my gosh. Uh, it's already going hard in the paint. These Sorry, fat motherfuckers ain't funny. They are. I hit them up. Gotta get back to the money. Got millions, I stick them up. You might stack a lot of money, but your soul ain't getting saved. Your soul ain't getting saved. Follow Rogan like some faggoty bitch. Okay. <laughs> Hold up. Yeah. Hold up. They some faggoty bitches. Oh, you can't say that. Oh, my God. You can't say that. Why are you saying that? They said it. Pretty sad that we magically knew who cat really did some some All right. So, so that, that line right there. Cat Williams dissing, dissing these two. Here we go. I think be I like it. me being on Joe Rogan. Joe don't want me on there. Joe got six comedians that never been funny. He want to <laughs> push out. <laughs> okay. So fact number one, uh, Cat Williams. Yeah, we're we're talking about Bert Bert Kreischer and and Tom Segura. So there you yep. go. Bert Kreischer is definitely not funny. I've never even heard Tom Segura. Oh my god. Oh, that's right. Okay, so they crashed Pat McAfee's podcast or his like ESPN show. Yeah. They got all drunk and they were showing off their what? skills. See, he's been going since early. It's, CJ, this is your fault. No, I stick to here now. I heard it. He said 3 a.m. I had an argument with his wife. He lost 50 grand, he said. There you go. Hey, come way on. to go, come Bert. On. So they, they literally just go like, can we come on your set, Pat McAfee? And he's like, I guess. This kid right here, he's like the number one quarterback draft pick or something. He gets mad because they're like, did you drink alcohol? Oh, is that CJ Stroud? Yeah, and he's Last like, year? no. I don't. I think it looks like C.J. Stroud. Well, what's he look like there? The, the, it's, it's C.J. Stroud. We take Stroud. migrants' blood and bone marrow at the border. There you See? go. Jeez. Oh, Jeez. Jeez. What else? What else? What else? I, I had the mic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, the kid's like per, trying to promote his energy drink because he doesn't drink alcohol because he's you know he's a professional athlete and he's under twenty one. I think no, probably he, he, no. He's over twenty one, but well, still, you know. he's young. He's young. And Pat McAfee's like, what are you guys doing on my set? It's actually fitting your reputation drastically shifted. Something's burning. I think you got too many hacks in the kitchen. When I break my foot off in your ass, you're going to be practically shitting and pissing and wishing that we would drink your maggoty liquor. Oh, so they're talking about that uh, Osos, the two. The, the, the terrible the, vodka. Or yeah, whatever. that they spent an hour promoting on their stupid podcast. Got yeah. a rich Lloyd dad. You ain't never had to suffer. Nah, nah, you work, work for L. Ron Hubbard. Hubbard. You were Scientology, baby. Need I say more? Yeah. Okay, so apparently, uh, Burt Kreischer's dad works worked for Scientology. My dad beat the Church of Scientology in court. L. Ron Hubbard said anyone who can beat us is good <laughs> enough for me. Put him on retainer. And then L. Ron stiffed us. That's how he got him back. You yeah. got a guy a retainer, he can't come after you anymore. And then yeah. you never pay him. Is that Louis? Never paid him. Yes, Louis C.K. So apparently, Burt Kreischer's dad worked for L. Ron Hubbard. 
so he's how else could you go to college for like seven years and not have to worry about paying for it that is true yeah. i mean that's just true but you still got the face of an alcoholic true ain't a drinking problem and i don't know what to call it you don't drink yourself for time you dumb but in lord yeah their faces are puffy oh are they yes oh Oh, and you're at, oh my gosh. He hits every bad word, right? You don't drink yourself retarded, you dumber than Lauren yeah. Compton. <laughs> so Lauren Compton works for your mom's house and has her own show where she does first dates with people. What? And she dresses like a hey and then goes like this. Craziest place you've ever had sex. Nothing exciting in the Mile balcony me of the, I'm not a member of the Mile High Club. Uh, I'm a member of the Mile Ahead Club. That's where you fuck someone behind a Cracker Barrel billboard. <laughs> Have you ever done that? Where you no. just drag them behind the billboard and fuck what? them? Fuck them, yeah. No. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's a great club to be in. I you never should... even thought about being in the Mile Ahead Club. You're thinking about it now. I sure. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> That guy's a comedian. Also, what she? Okay. Watch him drink more liquor to fuck him up quicker than I. Oh, gotta skip this part. <laughs> 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 Wait, why? What does he say? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, do they say the word? The word, the hard R word. Yeah, the hard R. Okay, hold on. I gotta skip, but I can't. Don't know how to find it. Okay, hold on. Pay $10 for 69 minutes. Okay, so 69 minutes was a show. Instead of doing 60 minutes, Tom Segura was going to do 69 minutes because he thought it was you know, a real TV show. Well, I looked it up. This is your mom's house, studios.com, 69 minutes. We'll be back soon. They, uh, I can't get it anymore right now. I don't, okay. I don't understand why because I heard it was terrible and uh, a ripoff. So that's what they're complaining about. That's what he's complaining about there. Time you gotta get back to your old gimmick Facts. instead of wearing gay clothes and popping that old zip. Facts. While you're Tommy Gold Digger play around with your little shrimp dick. Better let the real father come over and see his kids. <laughs> so that's Theo Vaughn. Theo Vaughn's the real daddy of his kids, apparently. Oh my god. She, uh, his wife, who's a, a guess a commie, Christina Pazitsky. Oh, oh she boy. was on the Real World on MTV. Okay. So that that and she's Canadian. So those are all. What was his old gimmicks though? He uh used to play this thing called like a character named like Rich Dad or I don't know some weird gimmick. Like see how he's dressed there? He was like Pimp Dad or something. I don't know. People thought it was funny. Okay. See how he's dressed like a pimp and he's fat. Cause then he got thin. Cause oh, he's that's not Bert No, that that's that's him. Oh. That's Tom Segura, but he lost weight popping Ozempic. Oh. And popping that Ozempic while you're commie gold digger. Play around with your little shrimp dick. Better let the real father come over and see his kids, bitch. Boy. You grew up privileged more than just a richer kid. Why you acted broke when your dad in the Merrill Lynch biz? Now we rest in Jeez. peace and it's got my... <laughs> I don't his dad know. was what? Merrill Lynch what? He worked for Merrill Lynch. Oh. So he had money. Heart torn. How you forcing your widow mommy to do that fart porn? I'm here for leasing comedy. These bitches got no talent. Swear to God they hit the lottery. The last gang fest. Them comments were saying hi to me. Oh, so he's he was discovered by the members of of uh, Skankfest, and uh, those guys they wanted to find the best white rapper they could, and and they made Crack Amico, and he's so good that they don't know what to do with him. Exactly, so he's he's too good to. Yeah. This year they gon' be quiet like they got a tricky out of me. I'm aiming at your temple like I'm no need for apologies. These motherfucker stars and I don't believe in astrology. Now half a stand up comedy can't stand me like neuropathy. I turn my sociopathy to self fulfilling prophecy, baby. I hit him up. Two crack in it, bitch. I'ma hit him up. Gotta so go should I, I'm gonna skip to the like best, my favorite part of the song. Oh, where they talking? He talks about Shane Gillis. <laughs> <clears throat> Here we like go. Shane Gillis. Stop fucking pussies, man. All that money, but you still down bad. Trying to suck Shane Gillis' dick. Sucking Joe Rogan fat dick. <laughs> Throwing Tony Hinchcliffe clitoris on God. <laughs> he said Tony Hinchcliffe's clitoris. The fuck? No smoke, hey. no smoke. Red bar radio anthem. Click bow, but shots at random. Yeah. All my homies run together like a tandem. Fuck with my man. man and a note for the ransom. Timber tantrum is what I'm gonna have. Scope AK-47, what I'm gonna grab. Black. Motherfucker running, I'ma hit him in the back. Confidence fake is your motherfucking laugh. You got great. And that's a reference to Ari Shafir, uh, dosed Burt Kreischer. He he dosed uh, 
he dosed him with uh, MDMA, and and he says Ari Shafir raped, raped. No oh boy, Bert Kreischer. So that's the song. I don't think I've ever heard a song. harder diss track in my in my entire life. Other than Eminem, maybe in his heyday. You you think I, is he is he your new favorite white rapper? Oh my God, is Crack Amigo white? I think so. I don't. Is I, that that's, why it's that's crack? the story of uh, supposedly like those Skankfest guys. He's Cracker Amigo. He could be Cracker Amigo. So I like it. It's good. It's Everyone good. should listen to it. He's the bestest. Yeah. And Burke Kre- Kreishner and their dumb Tom Segura is not the bestest. No, because he also talks about the machine story being fake, which I think is funny. Because because Burke Kreishner's whole career is based off of one story where he worked with the Russian mob and robbed a train, which no one believes. That's what that whole movie was based off of. He's that. just not that funny. No, he has one gimmick. He takes his shirt off and he's fat. And uh, yeah, I mean the movie was okay. It wasn't like the bad. It wasn't like great. Luke Skywalker's in it, so you can't go wrong with that. How much of it is he shirtless? All of it. Mm, unacceptable. <laughs> unacceptable. Exactly. So uh, in the meantime, if you like this, uh, we give this what a ten out of ten. Ten out of ten song. It's ten out best. of ten song. The bestest. Uh, you can catch our full length audio podcast on iTunes. Catch us live stream YouTube, 7 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Friday nights. Come join the show, join the party. You can join the channel. You could feed a starving noob noob for $1 a month if you want to or more. We do eventually offer exclusive content. I need your shekels, sir, I need oh, madam. Your shekels, sir. I'm a poor little lonely boy. <laughs> My father did not work for Metal Lynch. No. I need the monies. He needs the monies. And uh, yeah, I think that's all. Do we do anything else? Nope. Nope. That's it. We're on to the next one.